Hello investors, my name is Dehan. Welcome back to the number one place for all your investing needs. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at the potential four altcoins to buy in the month of June, as June has just begun. The market is up about 3.6% in the past 24 hours. If we take a look here at our top gainers, Kusama coin is up actually the most at about 23%. Currently trading at $458 uh, per coin in the past week, up about 33%. And then obviously on the one month chart, about 10%. On the one year chart, over 6,800%. So this coin, very interesting, 3.9 billion market cap. You know, it's on the run right now. It's one of the most popular coins, top gainers in the past 24 hours. Now the highest volume, obviously, as usual, is going to be Bitcoin, the big dog. So Bitcoin is up about 3% almost, currently trading at that 37,000 area. We've talked about this area, about the 38,000 and then the 48 or 42,000 area. Those are the two big key uh, you know, areas where we need to pass that resistance area to push on higher. Now Ethereum trading up around 3.5% higher than it was yesterday, currently at around 2,700 almost. Then we have Binance up about 12%, almost at $400 per coin. Cardano is actually red. Dogecoin up about 13.5%. We hit highs of about 43 cents actually today at one point. Um, Ripple up 1%. Polkadot 11%. Most of these coins are either trading flat or up about between 5 and 10% depending on which coin we're talking about, which is very interesting to see. You know, some of these altcoins are starting to push up. And obviously there's a lot of people saying, you know, altcoin season is over. But the altcoin season is not over as long as, you know, we're not in a bear market type situation where it continues to go lower and lower we're still doing okay so let's get into these altcoins guys but before we get into them smash that like button for me let's aim for 200 plus likes on this video subscribe to the channel turn on that bell notification so you get notified every time we make a new video as always if you want to sign up for we will get your two free stocks valued up to 1800 links are going to be in the description for that as well now let's get into it guys so the first altcoin on our list is going to be solana sol so we've talked about this one before this one is up about 11 percent right now and is currently trading at 33 dollars and 86 cents it was at lows of about 30 dollars or so at the beginning of the day now in the past week it's down about four and a half percent almost five percent hitting lows of about 25 dollars right there market cap 9.2 billion with the volume in the past 24 hours at 511.7 million coins now right here we see it's down 27.79 percent in the past 24 in the past month and then obviously on the one year chart up over 5600 percent so a thousand dollars be valued at around fifty six thousand dollars right now massive gains have been you know made with solana and obviously a lot of these other altcoins as well that have been pushing on higher and higher following bitcoin's trend and then obviously as bitcoin hit those highs and then pull back down all of these alt altcoins are pulling back down as well which is a normal thing obviously they have to take a breather they can't go up forever which is something we've you know discussed many many times in the past um you know they always have to take a breather because they were way overbought and now they're obviously a little bit oversold we're seeing some consolidation and hopefully another altcoin run in the future to come so definitely another one to add to your radar guys solana and if you guys want to just you know, you know see what solana actually is this is a decentralized computing platform that uses SOL to pay for transactions. Solana aims to improve blockchain scalability by using a combination of proof of stake consensus and so-called proof of history. A result, you know, as a result, Solana claims to be able to support 50,000 transactions per second without sacrificing decentralization. So very interesting coin, guys. Add it to your radar. Let's see how it performs the rest of June and the rest of 2021. The second altcoin is going to be one that we're very, very familiar with. We called this one out when it was trading at around 30 or 40 cents, I believe, on the channel. So if you guys got in on that price, you're still up way, way up. 200, 300% gains plus, even with the market pullback that we've seen in the past few you know, weeks. Now, this one, it's pretty much flat in the past 24 hours. It's currently trading at $1.78. The market cap is at $11.2 billion. And the reason we have Polygon on here, you might say, well, it's flat. It's not even up a lot. Well, that's the point. We don't pick you know altcoins on here that are already blowing up. We're picking altcoins that have potential to blow up in the future or in the next few weeks if we see a little bit of a rise for you know a day trade or a week trade. Now, Polygon volume in the past 24 hours at 1.6 billion. In the past week, this one is down 19%. So it's been, you know, hammered down a little bit, which is a positive sign for us. We're getting at the low. We're not buying at the high. Now, in the past one month, it is up 116%, hitting those highs of 283 and then lows of under 86 cents or so. But if you bought at that 86 cents area when the market, you know, pulled back down, 
you would be up over 100% since then. And we talked about this coin when it was trading here around 34 cents or so in April. So from that 36 cents area, 35 cents area, you know, you would have made about a 4x, maybe even a 5x, depending on the price that you bought in on. So obviously on the one year chart, this one's up over 8,100%. So $1,000 would be worth around $81,000 right now. And that just shows you the power of these, you know, altcoins that if you buy them, you know, they could blow up. You never know what they're going to do, but you have to make sure you do your own diligence, obviously. I'm not a financial advisor, so this is all for educational purposes before investing. Speak to your financial advisor, but you know, do your own due diligence and search up these uh, altcoins and see what they do. If you see some potential that it could be something you know positive for the future, buy it at the low, wait for it to blow up, and you know, sell at the high. Hopefully, like some of these altcoins you guys see are up thousands and thousands of percents in the past year. Now, Polygon, this was formerly called Matic Network. So, Polygon is an Ethereum token that powers the Polygon Network, a scaling solution. Uh, for Ethereum. Now, Polygon aims to provide faster and cheaper transactions on Ethereum using layer two side chains, which are blockchains that run alongside the Ethereum main chain. Now, users can deposit Ethereum tokens to a Polygon smart contract, interact with them within Polygon, and then later withdraw them back to the Ethereum main chain. The Matic token is used to pay transaction fees and participate in a proof of stake consensus. So, Polygon is a super, super, super green coin, you know, green altcoin that we've talked about, um, you know, as Bitcoin is uh, not as green as some of these coins that we've talked about in the past few months. Uh, Polygon is definitely one of those green coins that could be a future altcoin, you know, used, um, you know, for transactions and different things like buying vehicles or just buying different things in the, you know, in the world. Um, Polygon could definitely be one of them as it is a uh, you know, very green. So the people that are, you know, looking at the environment, I guess, and making the environment better might be transitioning all over to Polygon instead of Bitcoin or some of these bigger coins that use a lot more resources. So Polygon, definitely a second altcoin to look at. And then at the number three spot, we have T-R-O-N, Tron. So this one is trading at around, you know, under 10 cents. It's at 0 0.0774, up about 3% in the past 24 hours. Market cap on this coin is around 5.5 billion right now. Volume in the past 24 hours, 1.3 billion. And then the circulating supply is at 71.7 .7 billion coins. Now this one in the past week is down about 7%. On the one month chart, down about 40%. So this coin was trading at around 17 cents at one point, pulled back down all the way down to lows of about five cents or so, a little bit lower than five cents at one point. Now on the one year chart, it is still up 358%. But notice how compared to the you know the other altcoins, this one has not made as much of a move. You know, the other coins were up you know a few thousand percent. This one only 358%. And we say only because in the crypto space, a lot of these coins tend to fly. Obviously, 358% is a lot. Usually in the stock market, you will see gains of about 7 to 10%, you know, average yearly gain. So if we see a 358% gain in one year, that is a massive, massive gain to see as the coin was trading at around 0 0.0169. So this is kind of like the Doge situation where it was trading for a very, very cheap price. And now, you know, it's trending on higher and higher to trading a few pennies, now at around 18 cents at one point here on the high. Uh, you know, just like Dogecoin was trading at fractions of pennies and then went to highs of about 73 cents at one point. And now we pulled back to the 30 to 40 cents area and we've been consolidating there for a while. But we've been seeing some good news on that one. So Tron, this one is a cryptocurrency running on the Tron blockchain. Its goal is to create a decentralized Internet. So that is their goal, you know, plain and simple. They're not going to make this complicated for us. Give it to us in simple terms. So there's definitely a potential for this one to, you know, 10x, maybe even higher, 20x, 30x in the future. Uh, an interesting coin, in my opinion, to add to your radar and see how it performs for, you know, upcoming four, five, 10 years or so. Let's see where this coin is going to be in, you know, 2031 from now. So let's see what happens, guys. And then we have Monero, Monero XMR. This one is up about 7.5%. So we've talked about this one. This one tends to fly high. And obviously, when it pulls back down, it pulls back down heavily. This one is trading at $286 right now. 7% uh, higher, like we said. Market cap, $5.1 billion. So trading at the same market cap as Tron, uh, but a little bit lower than Polygon and Solana. Now, this one, volume in the past 24 hours, $309.3 million. In the past week, this one is up about 6.6%. So been trading, you know, this level right here sideways. And now we see a, bit, a little bit of a trend on higher in the past month it's down 30 percent from the highs of 517 dollars in may to the lows down here of 153 or so so it hit a massive low down here it you know pulled back up made over 100 percent gains in a matter of about 
a day or two right there actually and then it's been consolidating here for a few weeks now and we're looking for a squeeze on higher to push on higher to give us some more gains so this one in the past year it's only up 326 percent just like tron compared to solana and polygon these ones are lagging behind that are you know not up as much as polygon and solana have you know skyrocketed but that could be potentially because they have more potential and they're valued more for the future now you know monero was trading at about 66 65 dollars or so last year and then we saw those highs of over 500 dollars at one point right here um 517 dollars in may now monero is a cryptocurrency focused on privacy transactions on the monero blockchain can be tracked or traced monero uses a proof of work consensus algorithm uh to you know issue new coins and secure transactions so that is what monero does and definitely another coin that we're going to be adding to our watch list guys to see how it performs in the next couple of years and hopefully maybe buy it on the dip in june and see how it performs as well now, guys, that we went over that, let's take a look at some of these other coins that are moving. So Dogecoin, the big one, guys. So we saw this one go on Coinbase. You're, you know, you publicly be able to trade it, which is a huge deal. And that's why Doge has been, you know, flying high in the past 24 hours or so. It's up about 15% um, in the past 24 hours, currently trading at 41 cents. It was under 35 cents, uh, you know, 48 hours ago or so. Market cap, 53.9 billion. Volume in the past 24 hours, 10.9 billion. Now, this one obviously still has a lot more room to grow to get to that 70 cents area high that we saw when the SNL show was going on and the whole Elon Musk hype was going on. So we're still down about, you know, a good amount from there. If we look at the one week chart, it is up, but in the one month chart, it's still up about 10%. And then obviously on the one year chart over almost 16,000% as this one was trading at fractions, fractions, fractions of pennies, 0 0.0026 at one point. And then obviously the highs of about 73 uh, that we saw up there. So Dogecoin, definitely the meme coin, but a very interesting one. Could it possibly hit a dollar this year? I don't know. Just when you think it won't, it, it starts to you know have some more life and potentially come back up. So we'll see what happens with Doge for the rest of the year. Now Ethereum up about three percent, like we said. This one is trading at right under twenty seven hundred right now. In the past week, it's been you know trading sideways, up up and down pretty much, down about seven percent on the one month chart, down about eight percent, and then on the one year chart, it's up about a thousand percent. So a thousand dollars would be worth around ten thousand dollars right now with this one, as the coin was trading at around two forty four last year. Market cap. 312.4 billion right now it's lost about 40 percent of its value from the highs that we saw of about 4400 at one point pulled back down to about 1700 at one point as well now ethereum obviously very interesting coin we don't have to talk much about it because we've talked about it in the past in my opinion it's going to be the number one coin for the future and then obviously we have the big dog bitcoin so bitcoin right now currently trading at around 37,000. We needed to break through that 38,000 area, which it wasn't able to break through on, uh, you know, Wednesday. It came to that 38,000 area, pulled back down. We needed to break through to 38,000. And then the next resistance after that is going to be at around 42,000. Once it breaks through to 42,000, we might be seeing, you know, an uptrend and a good, you know, good outlook for us. So definitely something to keep an eye out on. Market cap right under 700 billion right now. In the past week, it's uh, down 5%, past month 34%. And then on the one month or one year chart, are up about 286 percent so compared to ethereum it's still lagging behind by about 700 percent or so but we saw those highs and now we're consolidating right here we're seeing some good consolidation which is a previous you know support level that we saw here in january so we're just trading at january prices we pretty much wiped out four or five months worth of gains which is okay to see you know it could come back up in the future that's definitely something we're going to be keeping an eye out on for the future and see how bitcoin performs as well as cryptocurrency continues to grow as it will continue to grow as you know everything starts to you know accept it pretty much i guess you could say now guys i hope you guys are enjoying this type of content if you did smash that like button for me let's aim for 200 plus likes on this video subscribe to the channel turn on that bell notification so you get notified every time i make a new video as always if you guys want to sign up for weeble get your two free stocks valued up to 1800 links are going to be in the description for that and as always i hope you guys enjoyed and i hope to see you guys in the next one goodbye